Hello, Richard from Maple Grove Guitars, Custom Instruments. Today I'm going to go through four short scale bass guitars that I've built. Three of them are new builds and I just want you to see visually and hear the difference between the different instruments. So this guitar, I built this about 10 months ago. So the strings are 10 months old. You'll hear bassist why you have to stay, change your strings. Just because they're making a noise doesn't mean they're great. It has a solid mahogany body, a Wilkinson pickup. It's a neck pickup. All right, it's in the bridge position, but it's designed for a neck pickup. I've got a chrome plate joining the neck, an American black walnut neck. And well, let's just see what it sounds like. I will say all of the instruments, I've just got the volume and tone turned up full. So there's no change there. Going through my little Behringer um, amplifier into my digital workstation, I'm not changing any of the tone or volume controls. So everything's set the same, so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna play Thin Lizzy's Dancing in the Moonlight. Not great, pardon the mistakes, but it shows you what the different guitars sounds like. Okay, nice sustain. That's what a solid mahogany body will do. So yes, the strings are about 10 months old and I've played this a lot in the last 10 months. Let's move to one of the new builds that I've just done. Okay, we're back through the magic of editing. So this is, well, slightly different body. It's got a bit of a waist. Wilkinson pickup, again, a neck pickup in the bridge position. It's a solid body. I've used the neck ferrules to join the neck. It's got an American blackwood neck on it, black walnut. And it's, well, the scale length for these first three guitars is 625 mil. Again, volume and tone is all turned up, not changed anything, just plugged and unplugged. Let's see what this one sounds like. Straight away, I hear the new strings, more tone. It's a little bit more powerful than the first guitar that I made 10 months ago, but it's got a nice sound to it. It's sort of a Rickenbacker type of croak. All right, let's move on to new build number two, or guitar number three in this little series. All right, we're back. Now, I will say, if you're listening, you want to hear the difference, put your headphones on. You'll, you'll hear more of the difference. Volume and tones turned up. Again, this one's got a bit of a waste on the body. Mahogany body. It's a Wilkinson bridge pickup in the bridge position. Rosewood fretboard. I've used the neck ferrules to join the neck. It's a Queensland, Mahog no, Queensland maple neck. So it's a bit lighter, a little bit softer and lighter and more mellow in the sound, but just a little bit. Let's, well, let's hear what it sounds like. To my ears, and in a pub situation, you're not going to hear a lot of difference between that the bridge pickup and the neck pickup. But it's a nice sounding guitar. Again, it's, to me, it's got a little bit of that Rickenbacker type of croak to it. Let's have a quick listen now to guitar number four, or the third one that I've just built. Ah, the magic of video editing. We're back. And... All right, yes, it's a solid mahogany body. It's a longer scale length. This one is 720 mil as opposed to 625. It's got my shark body that I think has a more depth, more resonance in the sound. It's got a humbucker pickup, 
you know, I didn't have another Wilkinson, but I thought I'll put a humbucker pick up. It's just a generic, cheap one I picked up off the internet. It too is joined at the neck with the neck ferrules, and it's a American black walnut neck. Let's see what this one sounds like. Straight up. <laughs> Mucked it up. You get, you can hear it straight up is not as much volume but it's still got a nice sound it's got a more bassy type sound now that to me i think yes it's a longer scale length having this bridge pickup set up down at the bottom end of this guitar gives all the vibration around this part of the body and so you're getting a big chunk of the mahogany vibrating it's not as loud it could be because yes it's a cheaper pickup just for the sake of this experiment I'm going to put a notch on my amplifier to bring it up to the same volume. I can see at my digital workstation the volume just wasn't there. And you can hear the volume wasn't there. So let me turn it up a bit and then we'll play it okay. again. Back. Turn the amp up a bit. Let's try that again. Yes, I've turned the amp up, but it's got more bass resonance. I rather like the sound of this one. I like the feel of it. I like the way it plays. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It's an, been an interesting little experiment to play the or build four short scale basses and to see what the little variations do to the sound. Not a huge amount. When you're playing in a pub, it's not going to make a big difference. It all depends on how you feel listening to your instrument. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and I think I'll just, well, I'm just going to play this one just because I like it. Mm -hmm.